please leave some space to finish off that exercise. Just kind of make an estimate. If you've got paper, you don't need to worry about making an estimate. Get a new piece of paper. Um, we're going to look at this skill, which you did look at last year, but it's just connected whenever you use formulas. You're going to get one of these expressions, and they'll say, look, x is not just some random number. I want you to work out what this is if x is this, or that, or whatever value I'm interested in. Okay? So that's what substitution is about. Let's just quickly write a definition of the bit. Substitution is when we take a premium rule, and here comes the word that is named after, right? And substitute it for a particular value. You might have um, learnt back in the day when we first were introduced to substitution, you can use the word switch swap or replace, they're all fine. Substitute a particular value. Okay. So, for example, let's pick out, I have one here. Yeah, sorry, that's a, it's a messy end. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, so start with a simple one. There is just the one kind of pronumeral here. It does get repeated, but there's only one type of him. So if they give you a particular value, there he is. And they say here, evaluate, tell me how big this whole thing is. Once you put in x equals 3. So all I would say is um, x squared minus 7x plus 1. And I'm literally going to swap every x for a 3. It's not rocket science, but you just got to be careful. 3 gets squared. Then you take away 7 lots of 3 plus 1. In fact, in some ways, this is easier than some of the stuff we're doing over here because the algebra kind of goes away and you just get left with numbers. Now, if you really want to, if you really want to, you can go and appeal to a calculator for that. Admittedly, sometimes you'll get some weird value in here, like something decimal or strange, strange fractions, in which case, yeah, there's no reason why you don't reach for your calculator. But I think we can do this one, right? 3 squared, of course, is 9. nine. I've got to, well, I have a choice here. I can do expanding the brackets, or I can just say 3 plus 1 is 4. four. So I've got 9, take away 28. What is 9 take away 28? Um, minus, minus, minus 19. Minus 19. Negative 19. And that's it. That's all there is to substitution. Okay. Now this is not complicated, right? Um, where this does extend to, just I won't fully solve it, but I'll just show you the start and you can get going. Uh, remember I said this just has the one variable, right? But we've already met questions, none of which unfortunately are on the board, that have lots of different kinds of pronouns, right? Like you can have A and B and C, or R and H, radius and height, any number of pronouns that you can have particular values for, okay? So as a secondary example, for, um, what was I going to do? That's right. Uh, three, two. Now, I'm, like I said, not going to show you the full answer here, but I'm just going to start you off. I think you can cover the rest of it. You take your expression, whatever it may be, and you state it exactly as it is, but with the right terms swapped. And you just want to make sure you line up everything properly. So this would become, for instance, there's R. So 3.2 squared times H take away 3. Sorry, H take away 3. So that I wouldn't expect you to have to do in your head, right? And who knows what 3.2 squared is? Uh, 10, it's 10 point something, okay? I did not have my head. Yeah, okay. You're <laughs> slightly, <laughs> slightly scared. Um, so you can go ahead, you can use a calculator for that, multiply it by, this is going to become 1.1, and off you go. But I am going to emphasize, please, please note this, okay? Look up for a second. This line here, this line's critical. Don't go to your calculator and just punch that in 
without having written this down. This shows that you know what substitution means. It demonstrates understanding. The number at the end is not that important. The number at the end, your calculator can do, right? Understanding that you know how you got from this to this to whatever number it happens to be, that's what we're really looking for. Okay? So please don't skip that line. Does it have to be in brackets and spoke? Can you just write 10 points in four? Um, so you mean when I go from here to mm -hmm. the immediate next line? No, that, that line over there. You write yeah. 3.2, the brackets, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can just write 10.2. So in the next line, I'll probably just write 10.24. Okay. Um, the reason I did that here is because it's like 3.2 squared. Yeah. Sometimes people get like, what's, what exactly is being squared? Yeah. Uh, so that's just to be clear. Good question. Would you, do you have to put 3.2 in brackets? Yeah. If you wrote this, I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be fine. Um, the only thing that, um, yeah, it is the same thing. The only thing you want to watch out for is sometimes, like, how do I say this? 3.2, you know that decimal point? Yeah. Like people, actually this is really irritating, but people sometimes use that decimal point to mean something else. Uh, I know that's, that's a bit annoying. Well, for multiplication, as it happens, so some textbooks will do that. So if I write this, I hope it becomes clear, that's actually 3.2. It's not 3 and 2 and some other thing.